tax marijuana laws will keep more people out of jail. The city of East Point passed a new ordinance this month to actually decriminalize marijuana. The move follows a decision by the White House to pardon thousands of people convicted on marijuana charges. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon live tonight in downtown East Point. So, Doug, the city now joins Atlanta and other jurisdictions easing marijuana possession punishment. Right, they do, Alan, but it's a very short list. East Point became last week just the 13th city here in the state of Georgia to actually take this step to decriminalize. Uh, they joined places like Atlanta, Athens, Savannah, South Fulton, even some parts of unincorporated Fulton County that have also taken that step. So what it means now is for those who are caught and charged with under an ounce or an ounce of marijuana in their possession, jail time is off the table. In a unanimous vote on December 19th, all those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. The East Point City Council joined a small but growing list of Georgia cities to decriminalize marijuana possession under one ounce. They now join places like Atlanta and Camilla, Georgia earlier this year in taking that step. Out of our 535 cities, East Point just became the 13th city. Um, to decrim. Scotty Smart is a marijuana policy advocate with the group New Georgia Project. He says Georgia has the fourth highest rate in the country for simple marijuana possession charges and ordinances like East Points, making that charge punishable by a $75 fine and not jail time, will be good for some more than others. More people who are black or brown are targeted with possession um, crimes uh, it's three to four more times higher to get arrested. Decriminalization stops that process by making the punishment a fine, not incarceration. It'll also free up more time for police. Right in the ordinance language, city councilors noted the change is meant to enhance East Point public safety by, quote, reducing the amount of time officers spend in connection with the arrest, processing, and transportation of those accused of simple marijuana possession. Scotty says if you're unhappy with your local marijuana laws, hold your local elected officials accountable at the ballot box. And they're getting elected by very small margins. So if we show up in the hundreds, 50 to 100 people, we can really create a change in our community. And for people who can't pay that $75 fine here in East Point, jail time still wouldn't be an option. The next option after that would be community service. We're in East Point tonight. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.